Welcome to the business. I'm Desbies, and today I'm going to give a quick guide on how to set up your mic on Sea of Thieves, Windows 11 edition. Feel free to skip ahead and around the video as necessary. There's three areas we are going to check to make sure our mic settings are set up appropriately. And lastly, we are going to make sure we are not being age restricted by Microsoft. So let's get into it. The first thing we want to check is to see if our audio settings on Sea of Thieves is correct. This is really important because if anything is wrong on these settings, changing your microphone settings won't affect anything. Log into Sea of Thieves as normal and open your game options menu by pressing escape. Click on settings and go to where it says audio settings. Go through the audio options to make sure they are to your liking. This is completely your preference on how you'd like them. Check your audio output mode is correct too, so you can hear others. The biggest thing with audio settings is to make sure to verify that your push to talk is not on because that will not allow you to speak unless pressing a designated key. Make sure to close the game and reopen it if you change any audio settings to make sure it works properly. If it still doesn't work, then move on to the next step. Now let's check the microphone settings on your computer. For those of you with a harder time seeing, I will be using a feature to pulse wherever my mouse is to help keep track of it. A quick way to get to your system settings is to go to where you see a monitor and a sound icon on the bottom right hand corner and click on it. Click where it says sound to access the sound settings. It also has a little sound icon near it as well. From here, make sure that your sound output is correct and your input is also correct. Your input is where you'll find your microphones, so definitely make sure you have the right one selected. Click on the correct microphone to open another menu. Make sure you have allowed access to apps and windows to use this device for audio. Mine says don't allow because I've already selected allow, but I will show you real quick what it looks like. Next, we will check out the microphone privacy settings to see if clicking the allow button worked correctly. Type in the search bar microphone privacy and hit enter. It will give you a couple of privacy setting choices, but we're selecting microphone privacy settings only. Very important to check if your microphone access is on. From there, check to see if the let apps access your microphone is also on. Scroll down until you see the Xbox icon. Make sure it's on to allow access. After that, go down to where it says let desktop apps access your microphone and check if it's also on. You can scroll down from there to see if Sea of Thieves has accessed your microphone. If you see that it has, that's a good sign. If you have trouble using the search function, click on where it says privacy and security and select the microphone and it will take you back to the same privacy settings menu you were at before. If none of these steps have worked so far, then let's move on to the next one. Click on search function on your taskbar. You can already see the Xbox icon on the screen, but if you type in Xbox into the search bar, it will pull up the Xbox app. Open up your Xbox app and click on your profile picture. Go down to where it says settings and click on it. Once you are in the main settings menu, go ahead and go down and click where it says audio. You will see a menu with input and output. Make sure your output is correct and your input is correct. Your input should be the desired microphone you want to use. Also make sure your push talk isn't on. Okay, before you start ripping out your hair from frustration, let's try the last step. Microsoft has age restrictions that can also restrict your microphone. Pull open Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer if you still have it. I already have the window open, but go to your Microsoft account. Look at the bar at the top of the page and select your info to open a page of all of your information. Go to where it says date of birth and check to see if it's filled out with a date. If not, then select it and it will take you to another page where you can put in the date of birth. Remember, if you're below 13 years old, there will be some restrictions on your account and you'll need parental permission. Once the date is placed, go ahead and click on save to input the information. Well, that's the end of the guide. If you like the content, please like and subscribe for more videos and check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Thanks for getting into the beezes with me.